this will be the enclosure that makes me or breaks me. See it for yourself. Yo, what up subs? Been a minute. We done some crazy videos. We did some venomous stuff. We did some this, that, the other. Really, 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 really what we want to focus on is what we're here about. Bioactive. Unfortunately, that's not what we're doing today. But what we are doing is an epic build for a customer that came in, had a huge budget. So we're gonna build a four by two by two Reptazoo with Reptazoo lighting. Reptazoo bulbs. We're not sponsored by Reptazoo, but Reptazoo, come talk to your boy, all right? Whoa, Sal, Sal. Bro, we know your time's valuable, okay? You don't have to push this in the frame. We'll do work, son, I promise you. I think we got this build, man. I really do. So, you guys seen Gabe on our channel before? He's the key grip, my best friend, and one of the key components to our shop here. We're gonna introduce you guys this build today. We had a customer come in. They had a decent budget. I'm not gonna say too high, but it was, it was decent. So, they're paying for the full package, the full fake succulent package. background we're going to do three quarters of sides coming down to uh, complement this build excavator clay this all this great wood that Gabe here actually collected here Gabe's our, our little uh, wood snipe guy goes out and just kills it we'll be using 3m insulated foam we've talked about this gaps and cracks. The reason why we use this stuff is it sprays out and dries much more dense with less air, less pockets, carves better, looks more natural. We bought quite a few cases, actually two cases total for this, a bunch of fake succulents. Again, we don't want your bearded dragon eating these things and becoming sick, constipated, all those things. We're gonna use excavator clay. Excavator clay, you wet it down, it hardens you mold it to the shape you want. And that's gonna very, very much so complement our background that we're doing here today. So check it out guys. This is the first part of the build. We're gonna get to spraying some foam. All right guys, so we got insel foam here. So this is three quarter inches thick, 40 inches wide, 14 and a half inches tall. It's one of our go-tos here for building backgrounds. We love it, you should love it. It's readily accessible at Home Depot. Come get some. Measuring tape, who needs that? That's like 1991. The Brute, a complete line of heavy duty tape measures with non-slip hook, contour design with easy to work lock. Come on, let, let me show you how to do this. So, Gabe, okay, grab that side. So do you see, if you have a friend, a good one, that's got a good eye, you can line it right up. Where's the poop knife? Hold on, we're gonna talk about the poop knife real quick. Pause for a second. Three, two, one. Poop knife. The $4.99 Walmart buy you should make. See all the dry lock, the spray foam on this guy? He still cuts like a champ. Thanks to our $3 Amazon sharpener. This knife is intended to be hurt, used, abused, put away wet, dry, sandy, foamy, you name it. I mean, I'm sorry, but it's gotta happen. Gabe, line up the glass and then scoot over one glass width inside. There you go. And we're gonna simply score it. We have it above, right here, flush with our, our frame here. And we're gonna score it on the back side. And watch how simple this is. We have our score mark. All these tanks that are made 
none of them are square. They will never be square. They are always made at a skew. And that's why we custom them. So we're gonna score it one more time. And then two more times. Bam, we're there. Dave, why can't I open it? It must be on the back. So you're saying it's the back side. I believe that's how you measure it correctly. So not front side, but back side. Or switch. Back side. Hey subs, we're dropping in back side. Gabe, you wanna help me flip this bad boy around so we can test fit these guys? Oh, right, let's go for it. Sounds good. So we have these backgrounds, bases, we'll call them, okay? We have one, so we're gonna test fit it before we cut the second one, just to make sure for redundancy and safety. And it looks like it fits in pretty tight. Oh yeah, excellent. So we're gonna pull it out, we're gonna cut the other one to match it, and then we'll join us here in two seconds and we'll go just like this, YouTube magic. Just like that. Three easy scores. This one. All right, so we're gonna score it, mark it, cut it down so it fits on the table so we can easily spray it. This little mark there, old poop knife pass, and the mark there. Ready? Line it up. I would appreciate if you meet me halfway. So we're gonna score it. Simple, doesn't take a whole lot. It's great. Probably one of the most reliable tools besides my vacuum and my garbage can in my reptile store. Gently score it. And then there it is. And do you see how it's skewed? And that shows you that these tanks are never made exactly square. I mean, look at that. There for there. And I bet it fit. Let's try. Please don't make me look stupid. And it fits. Sick. Cut. It does not fit. <laughs> this one's off. Gabe, how does that make you feel, buddy? I think he should have had better direction. How does that make you feel? Like, do what I'm doing, not what you think is right. How can you do what he's doing if he doesn't tell you what he's doing? Well, observation? I was doing what we did the first time. It made sense to me. <laughs> Well, poop knife does his job. All right, guys, we're back with our three quarter inch backing insole foam that we get from Home Depot in 10 packs. And we're gonna go ahead and spray some foam. 3M, gaps and cracks. I'm telling you guys, do not buy great stuff. I ain't hating on great stuff. It works great for the construction industry, but for this, we want tight knit, less bubbles, less air. And if you spray this stuff right, it's much more dense and it works amazing. Feel me dog? All right, folks. So here's what we're not gonna do. What we are gonna do is controlled steady hand movements. You want to touch every line to the next line. And we want to switch directions frequently. It's okay if stuff builds up in one area or the other. And I'm even gonna go through and build it up a second time. In nature, rock is natural. 
and it goes many different directions. So that's what we are trying to portray is exactly that. Did we just touch tips? I think so. Guide me in. Sal says I'm not energetic enough, okay? So here I am. We're gonna let it cure for 48 hours. So why don't we snap and do some YouTube magic? All right guys, we're gonna go ahead and take this background that we've carved. And what we're gonna do is we're going to actually trim it to fit snugly in this enclosure. So I've actually duped, screwed, and totally wrecked my entire builds before by not doing this step. So what we're gonna do is Put this background back facing the back and we're gonna basically score it with the knife and then cut it inside the score lines. And what that'll do is allow the background to fit in there snugly so your animals can't get behind there and it looks like it's supposed to fit there. We are going for that natural look. Obviously we want to put our best foot forward on this build. This thing's gonna be displayed at Pack Northwest Reptile Show, uh, April 22nd, 23rd in Hillsboro. PACNWRS.com, check it out. I'll be there. This tank will be on display. Come talk to us. We'll interview on your camera. Maybe you'll be on the channel. Cool. Let's get going. We're actually gonna be doing an entire Reptazoo build. So our UVB, our um, Mercury Vapor Bowl, and our Deep Dome Lamp Fixture for this Bearded Dragon are all gonna be Reptazoo. Reptazoo doesn't sponsor us, but you should. Holler at your boy. So we're gonna take this top off. It's actually screwed in. And Sal's gonna come in and get some close-ups of that. It's a collapsible tank. It comes in a flat pack. It's shipped in a box that's quite compact compared to what you see. It's all tempered glass. It's actually a really nice enclosure. I was super impressed on it. Very well built. It's not wobbly, not rocky at all. The table's rocky, but the, the enclosure's not. Very solid. So we're gonna unscrew these. Four screws in the corners. The little beauty plugs pop right out just by poking this into there which is super easy and it doesn't damage them or mar them. Again, a really solid enclosure. All right, Gabe, I'm gonna leave this on there so we know where it's at, just like that. Hey, subs, it fits. And around here, if it fits, it shifts. So now that we're bottomed out in the enclosure, what we're gonna do is score the top. This is tempered glass. 
to this enclosure, by the way. So it's really strong glass, so I don't mind using a knife going right across the top and getting it flat. All right, guys, so we're gonna score this and just cut it right across the top, right at the level. Get a, get a slow-mo. <laughs> All right, so now you see we're nice and set up here. You know, we're giving it the old, the old eyeball, looking pretty good. So I think we're gonna set the, the lid back on and make sure it fits. So we're going to line our doors back up here. So that door is good. And the front door is good. How's it looking, Gabe? We're locked and loaded, man. Sick. Tighten our screws back up. It's looking good. So now we have an idea of what's going on inside here. And we're going to go ahead and mock up some wood just so we have an idea of how we want to carve this thing. So I've got this super sweet piece of wood that I've been holding on to. Gabe found it here. It's a, lo a local find and we washed it and sterilized it. We want to put it in and see how it's going. So I, I carved a hole in here. So the bearded dragon will have an, an entrance point into the ledge by the wood, which is super awesome. And this will be a basking area once it's carved. It'll look all natural. We're going for that Australian outback theme. And uh, yeah, let's get at it. We're gonna go do some uh, top-down views. So it looks like we have some clips that hold these guys, this top in here on the back. So we're gonna make a recessed area with our knife for those. So we're just gonna mark this real quick and then we're gonna notch it out to accommodate the clips. It's gonna be super simple, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Ta-da. And just like that, it's done. Maybe it's not. <laughs> so we're gonna take our chalk marker, as you can see, our outlet hole, which is super convenient for your cords in case you want any lighting inside, which we will be doing on this build, a UVB uh, light bar, a 54 watt Repizu um, high output T5 UVB. But see how this here, come on in here. See how this here touches? We wanna to make sure that's all out of the way of the foam so it fits nice and tight. See, it's preventing right here, this gap from closing. This here, see this gap? This should re sit recessed just like that. So we're just gonna give it a... And again, this is chalk marker, so you mark it, wipes right off. Plus we'll be painting the background, so who cares? This handy dandy Reptazoo enclosure a lot makes it real easy to do this because I could just remove the panel. Simple as that. And where's old poop knife at? Poop knife, my old friend. Come back and see me again. So I can give you more abuse. This knife is intended to be hurt, used, abused, Put away wet, dry, sandy, foamy, you name it. Oh, poop knife, don't you see? <laughs> <laughs> Just like that. 
nice semi-circular round. Like now mm -hmm. it sits in there. So now it sits flush, easy peasy, just like that. So now we're gonna go ahead and actually take this out again. We're gonna set down a piece of uh, masking plastic. We're gonna mix up our color, which we'll go through um, and then get to carving. So, um, we're gonna carve this. We're gonna let the foam speak for itself. It's a piece of art. It's, we want it to look natural. So we're gonna let the foam guide us in how we carve. Um, I've sprayed some extra big bulbous areas here. If you want to zoom in in here. And these will be actually features in the rock. The rock. So, can you smell LLL what the rock is carving? Well, Gabe, do some talking, dog. <laughs> wow, you guys really put me on the spot here. Do some talking, dude. Bro, talk. Where do you, do you want to use my signature line? All you got to do is hey, subs, and do a weird hand movement. It's super subtle. Gabe is the sub, it's hard. Gabe's not down. Hey there, subs. We're going to get to cutting this background, but first, we're going to lay out some protection. We don't want the foam getting all over the place, so we'll pull it out and we'll lay it on a steady surface and we'll get to cutting. That was the best one yet, though. I That's, know, no. That one's usable. Yeah, right. <laughs> and we'll get to cutting. <laughs> So we're done carving it. Two and a half hours later, oh wait, wait, it's never done. There's always something that you can add. So make sure you don't go overboard. Keep it real, keep it fun. All right, see now we're in dangerous territory. So we're gonna step back into the land of YouTube. I'm sure you guys have all heard of this. It's YouTube magic. Ready? One, two, three, paint it. Tell me, tell me, tell me. If they choose to guide us.
was that nap game. I needed that nap. You needed that nap, dude? Oh, this build has been taking it out of us. How long have you been working on this thing? Two weeks. Feels like a year, but really. Fellas, gentlemen, ladies, children, we've got a new camera rig. We're uh, doing some closer up shots, some more personal stuff. Here in just a second, we're gonna be mixing up some excavator clay for this build. We remember, one bag, three cups of water, 24 ounces, eight ounces per cup. Mix it exactly, squeeze it, squeeze it, squeeze it. Squeeze it. Squeezy Jibs, what up? Big shout out, another Portland YouTuber. Big bang. <laughs> Got the proper attire. Gotta yeah, get ready. I didn't come prepared. You gotta do it backwards, dude. I it's do. gotta be a backwards hat. There you go. Let's get shadow face. Okay. No shadow face. No shadow boxing. No shadow boxing today. Okay. As with everything, we're gonna use protection. All messed up. I can't get my finger. You got the wrong protection, dude. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> Excavator clay. Bam. Boom. Bucket. 24 ounces of water. YouTube magic. <laughs> Look at that beautiful clay burrowing substrate. Excellent for bearded dragons, Euromastics, leopard geckos, sand boas, all those nice, beautiful, deserty things. Yeah. Can you pour some of that down the drain? Just like a little hair of it. I want to get you turning on the faucet and filling it. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> Not the whole thing, man. You don't gotta pour the whole. This is madness. <laughs> How much water are we filling here, buddy? We need 24 ounces of water here. Okay, guys, now that we've got our 24 ounces of water, we're gonna add it to our not Zoomed <laughs> excavator <laughs> clay. <laughs> Could not do it. No. <laughs> Water down. Hey, look at that. I gotta fill up the water again. No, sorry. Thanks, man. Sal. <laughs> so we're gonna take our 24 ounces of water. We're gonna pour like six ounces in the bottom, and we're just gonna wet our whistle. All right. Keeps the dust down. Or so we'd like to hope. A little bit more water there. There it is. And Gabe's gonna mix this last bag up because I mixed the other four and my wrists hurt. Thanks, skateboarding. Once you get all of that material that's in the corner of the buckets out first. It's a, a crucial step in this uh, whole endeavor that we're doing here. Excavator clay is a tough medium to work with, but if you do it right, it's not. It's really actually super easy. So he's mixing out the corner of the buckets. And what he's gonna do is he's gonna get all like a, a general consistency of moisture um, dispersion, you can call that. Uh, once he does that, he's gonna start squeezing it in his hands and clumping it, just like that. And he's, he's gonna take both hands in there, he's gonna squeeze it. And that's exactly what you wanna do. You wanna disperse that moisture into clumps and then break down those clumps and do it over and over and over and again. It's actually a super crucial step in this. If you don't do this, your clay doesn't hold consistency. 
Therefore, your enclosure doesn't have consistency and you have problems later on. So we just want to keep it all consistent. You know what I mean? Like just key points here is what we're trying to get at. Consistency, flow. Work hard now, make it easy later. That's really what it's all about. Look at that beautiful consistency. You want it wet, but not too crumbly, not too wet. Because we're going to pack it down when it's in the enclosure. Think Australian Outback. And as you can see, we've pre-mixed in our Homer bucket, Home Depot pay us. So our Homer bucket here has four bags already mixed. This is a 48 by 24 by 24. And so we're gonna do five bags. We're probably gonna have some left, maybe not, who knows, but we definitely wanna do more than we need in the first place. Do you, how, do you know about what North if you want Carolina? Merch? If you want merch, what kind of merch we got? Oh, oh, wait, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. We got camo. We got black. We got German jungle. German jungle. Ease up. We we got we are Bert camo. We are Bert Kreischer. We don't have. Hitler's it's it's Bert Kirshner. 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 <laughs> Bert Chrysler. Chrysler? You never heard that joke? No. Tom Secura. Are you real red? Anyways, so we got merch. We have the Urban Jungle Simple Tea, 22 bucks. 22 bucks shipped. Straight up shipped. 22 bucks. You're not going to find reptile merch cheaper anywhere. Our hats, $35. We have the Young Poom. The standard and flat bill, new era. <laughs> new era, sorry dog. You guys ain't cutting it anymore. Boom. Sublimation, proclamation, emancipation. One more, come on, one more. Support us and sponsor us ship station. <laughs> fine picking. What's going on here, Gabe? Well, I'm just fine picking this. Getting brush hairs off of hair. So you tell me that sometimes the brush will leave hairs in the paint? Sometimes that does happen. And you know, stop it and remove it. Cheat. It happens. <laughs> Tough cheat. Also, we're gonna show you some cheat codes for what's going on here. We're gonna do some super rad stuff. We're just gonna like Basically, carelessly dump a bunch of clay into this enclosure, and we're gonna smash it in. It's gonna look great. It's that simple. You pay the money, you do the actual work and research, the footwork, and you make it happen, Captain. Simple as that. Like, really, it's not that hard to be artistic. Channel your inner Van Gogh. Your inner van, bleep, you know. Don't cut your ear off. Because, oh, if you will. All right, guys, here we are. We got two consistencies of clay. Consistency, key. So we've got chunky dunk. Don't confuse that with skinny dip. And we got our skinny dip here. A little bit lighter. The difference is four ounces of water. 24 ounces of water per bag. 20 ounces of water per bag. Simple as that. We're gonna keep going at it. Remember, you spent the money, you've got this far. So what we're gonna do is add all of this, we wanna build up our corners. So see our corners here? We wanna build up our corners here. And that's gonna give you the natural landscape. Don't be afraid to cover up some of this bottom of your landscape and build it up. You wanna build up character. We're gonna add our wood midway through, not all the way through. We want to, and we wanna do that because we wanna build around our wood, right? We spent all this money and time collecting the exact perfect pieces of wood. This client paid for the best, we're gonna give them the best. Follow me while we do it, guys. Ready, let's go.
So we're gonna evenly disperse this. We're gonna break it up into smaller chunks, obviously. Just wanna get a nice consistent base here. So we've got this back void here. We wanna get make sure we get everything into these big clumps. Yes, they're moist. We wanna break them up. It doesn't have to be super thick. Nobody's burrowing in this. this is, we have a hide for our bearded dragon. This is just a simple, let's, let's make it count. Pardon the sound while we do this. We're gonna cut to some B-roll and So we want this to look natural, right? So we're actually gonna take some of our clay here. We're gonna drag it up. We're gonna put it in some of these lower cracks on these shelves. When it dries, it just blends everything up. And you'll see. We're also going to add some little pockets of clay. In nature, clay gathers in pockets. It comes down from somewhere. It doesn't just exist. Gabe's going to fill up a mystery bottle. And even though we mix it to the exact specifications, we actually want to miss it down. Just give it, smooth it over. It'll dry out. Our animal's not going in here tonight. We're displaying at this at Pac Northwest Reptile and Exotic Animal Show. Typically, I wouldn't recommend doing this right off the bat if you're going to add your animal immediately. But we have some time. So we're going to make it the best we can and do the best we can and finish with the exact product that we want. You know what I mean? For us, for our client, and for the, all the people, the masses that are going to see this on YouTube, at the exposition. That's what we're gonna do. Hey, Eric, squirt on me, dog. Good. There we are. So what we want to do is kind of roll your hand over it and you see how much more natural that looks. Do you see how it's coming together? Do you see how it's coming together right now over me? Not too bad. We're getting there guys. We're doing some cool stuff. We're do, making some an extremely unique enclosures here. And it's okay if there's some clumps in here, make it look natural. It doesn't have to be perfect. We're not going for a completely, we are not going for a completely smooth surface. We want it to look like nature made. In order to do that, you know, there has to be imperfections and areas so we're going to come up here and we're going to start filling in 
some of these abnormalities, I like to call them. Again, you want our, everything to match. So the all these extra spots where you don't see it's fitting into, you roll those balls of clay, we're gonna use those to our advantage. And we're gonna make pockets here. And what that does is tie in the bottom, the base layer to the background. By doing that, you actually end up with a much more natural looking enclosure. And it doesn't take much, you just smear it along. And when it dries, it's a different color. It's close, but it's definitely a different color. And it looks like it was meant to be that way. And it's, it's just amazing. It works out. We've done this many times. It always works. We're stoked on it. We have actually one holdback bucket. So we're gonna get into that. This is that lighter stuff. Remember we were talking about four ounces less water. We're gonna bring some of that over here. We're just gonna get into these pockets. And we want it to, the excess to fall down. Again, that's just how it goes. It's how you get that natural look. It's amazing. It's not hard. You j literally just rub it in. Li literally, just rub it in. I even take my fingers with just a little bit of clay and I'll go through and bring it through. It kind of breaks up that highlighting that you did on the background that we showed earlier. We'll grab another handful. We'll go through it. And it doesn't have to be perfect. Nature is not perfect. So we've got this amazing piece of wood. Gabe the key grip found, and he found another amazing piece of wood. We've sterilized it. I've pre-drilled these holes. I want it to look like one, so that's what we're gonna do. Here we are. I've thought this background out. Sal, come in here. See how that fits right there, buddy. See how I... that's so our bearded dragon can run right up here and get up on the basking ledge. This is a basking ledge. It's hard as a rock. We put multiple layers of clay, dry lock, etc., on there. And we're going to put a mercury vapor UVB bulb here. We're going to do a Reptazoo two-in-one lamp dome fixture here. Again, we're going to talk about lighting for a second. So, we're up to zoo. We want to holler at you. We like you. We want to use your stuff. Get at us. So this is a Reptazoo two-in-one lamp fixture and socket. Deep dome, up to eight inches. That'll allow us to get a mercury vapor bulb in there to penetrate those UVB, UVA rays right here on top of our screen top on this Reptazoo enclosure. And we will show you that when it's all done. It's awesome. So we're also gonna be running this HO T5 UVB lighting combo kit, which is 54 watts, 48 inches. We're gonna be running that on the inside of this enclosure here. To get maximum penetration 
for ultraviolet rays. Super important for our beard dragon. We want the best, only the best. That's why we're choosing Reptazoo today. Check it out, let's go. We're gonna add this piece of wood as an accent piece. Then what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna add some extra activator clay around the bottom, make it look amazing. And then we're gonna go through the succulents. And then once we get through the succulents, we're gonna go with our Reptazoo lighting and show you how we do it. I mean, literally, it's gonna be amazing. It's gonna be exactly what your bearded dragon needs. Simple, affordable, and just the way we need it to be. The way your animal needs it, the way your animal wants it. Give the best with the best. Simple as that. A little bit of this lighter, remember the 20 ounce, not 24 ounce of water mixed in with the, the excavator clay. We do that on purpose. That's because we want it to be just a little bit lighter, a little bit more moldable. So we can get in these gaps and cracks. Paul Richard Boy, 3M. Nice slope, make it feel natural. Build up some areas there. We don't want everything to look flat and dull. We want it nice. We want it to feel like you saw this in nature. And that's exactly what we're going for. We want levels, right? So nature is not flat. I mean, Levels. RIP Avici. We did, we did, that was lefty. Let's do some righty. Clay Bay. You feel fancy now? I've been fancy. <laughs> I feel real fancy using all these Reptazoo products. It makes me feel amazing. These guys, they make some good products, you know? I found out recently that their YouTube only has 904 subscribers. I have half of that in 30 days. I'd really like to pump you guys. I'd really like you to support me so I could support you. Honestly, you guys make amazing products. They use them regularly. Get at us, honestly. Urban Jungle Reptiles Media at gmail.com. Where'd you get that plant from, Eric? Uh, not from Reptazoo. Oh, well, just kidding. Bad but, point. let me tell you, I think Reptazoo could do a, an amazing version of this. The client actually brought this to me and asked for it to be added. And so I, you know, what I wanna do is make my client happy. So we're gonna add their aspects first, the things that they requested, and then we're gonna build off that. Happy client. Happy client, happy client, happy client. I mean, it's a no brainer. You just want happy people in your life. You want to build happy enclosures for happy animals that have happy owners. If I build an enclosure that's not happy, you know, 
it's 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 a downhill spiral from there. So. Whoa, 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 key grip. It's just not happening. It's not happening. <laughs> and now we're gonna add some succulents. clients asked us to add this cork bark. I don't think it really fits, but we're gonna do it anyways. Client's always right, that's how we roll. Booyah. So we're gonna add some of this clay over here. Oh, 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 we knocked the old boy over. There we go. I'm just trying to make it look natural. We're gonna add this one in there. And you know what? It doesn't look half bad is a nice hiding spot for our beard dragon. Right, guys so we have our repazoo knockdown tank 48 by 24 by 24 we have our excavator clay our custom-made background by yours truly we have our succulents in here so and our wood and our cork all of our accessories that we want for our bearded dragon except for our food and water dishes we're gonna leave that up to the customer but here's what we're gonna do so we have our desert t5 lamp uvb which is uvb 10.0 high output 54 watt we have our matching HOT5 UVB lighting combo kit, which actually comes with this bulb. Amazing, Reptazoo, you guys are awesome, you rock. Holler at us. So we have our two-in-one deep dome lamp fixture and socket. Sorry about the noise there, slamming that down. It's 8.5 inches deep, 200 watt max, which is what we want. We're gonna be using a Reptazoo 200 watt mercury vapor UVB bulb. We're gonna get everything set up. Follow us as we do it. Sal, hit the time lapse. Hey, subby dubbies. So we're gonna talk about this Reptazoo enclosure I just built. So, listen, I built a lot of enclosures. I'm partial to Exoterra myself. Oh yeah, I mentioned Exoterra. Listen, Exoterra is great. I tried Reptazoo out for this first time. I honestly can't say enough about this enclosure. It's a four by two by two collapsible build that I got on Amazon. I got this two in one deep dome fixture handles up to 200 watts which is you know 200 watts is a lot that means i could put 160 watt mercury vapor bulb in this my beer dragon gets all of the uvb and the heat it needs on this nice basking ledge i built here we've got this 5.5 inch deep dome from the from reptazoo handle 100 or 200 watts actually 
It's a shea, so it'll handle a ceramic heat element or a heat bulb, whichever you prefer. We're gonna go with the shea. We use the heat bulb for filming. Obviously, lighting matters. We got this Reptazoo two-in-one combo kit, which is 54 watts, T5 high output UVB. I, it speaks for itself. Look at the look at the output it's doing. I mean, look at the lighting it's doing. Just for funsies, we're gonna go ahead and turn off both these bulbs. I mean, come on now. That's unheard of. It's it, unmatched. Honestly, highly recommend Reptazoo. That's an honest review. We love it. We want to use it more. Reptazoo, if you feel like we meet your standards of builds, quality, and video production, we'd like you to sponsor us on a build or two, maybe all of them. We'll include our email. Remember to like, comment, subscribe. Viewers, thanks for tuning in. We love you. We do this all for you. We make no money. I mean, obviously, we're here. We're gonna keep going. We ain't stopping. Get at your boys. Urban jungle for the win. Stop. Sal, be nice. Why are you looking at me so hard? I want this video to be like 10 minutes. All right, sub sub subscribe. Sub 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 I said, I said, I said poop caliber, crap caliber. We'll come and build it for you on Sunday, 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 or Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and you'll pick it up Friday. It's 3 a.m. Do you know where your poop knife is? Did it get it? <laughs> your mom.